Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. Happy Easter Sunday to you all. So in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this simple Easter flyer. So without much ado, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is to set our background. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my adjustment and choose a solid color. Now we are going to choose sort of a pinkish red color like so and I'm gonna click OK. So to follow along, please download all these resources and just follow. So I'm going to drag this image in. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop the second image in. I'm going to set it up right there and I'm going to go ahead to scale it a little. Now I am going to go ahead and add a layer max, pick up my brush tool with my foreground as black. Flow is at about uh, 15%. And we are going to go ahead and basically blend the bottom in and keep our image looking more like this. Drag in our subject and I'm going to double click. Now, the easiest way to take off the background is click on your image, go under your property, convert layer into a smart object. And you want to go back to your property and the quick action, click on remove background, go ahead and scale our subject, pick up our brush tool with our foreground as black. We want to go ahead and basically blend our subject in so we have him looking more like that. Now I'm going to flip my foreground to white, pick up my type tool, and with the B bus, we are going to go ahead and type in risen. And I'm going to go ahead and scale it, make it as big as I can. So we're going to change the blend mode of our text to soft light. And I'm going to move that layer below my subject layer. Now we want to go ahead and type in the word Easter Sunday. So we are changing the font this time to Belladonia font. And I'm going to go ahead and type in East. And with my move tool, I'm going to go ahead to just scale it, make it as big as I want. To add a shadow, double click on your font. Photoshop opens up your layer style, add a drop shadow. Now you can either tweak your drop shadow by clicking on the drop shadow style and you can change. So I'm going to go ahead to click OK. Now we are going to go ahead and bring in our logo. So I'm just going to drag and drop in my logo and I'm going to set it right in the corner like so. so I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop in this bird and we are going to set it somewhere here like that. Now we want to go ahead and type in the address as well as um, the name of the church and the date. I'm going to go ahead and set this to the Century Gothic. Once you have your font, if you want to space out your font, go under your property VA and open it up. Now you can add in the address in the, on the bottom. Now we are going to go ahead and change our font to the B bus. We are going to go ahead and type in 10 and highlight and change that to the B bus font. If you want to close up the spacing of two text, go under property A over A and then you can close it like that. Now we can go ahead and scale this down. Now to link all the fonts so we can move it together, select both fonts holding down shift, right click and link both fonts. Now we can move both fonts, go ahead and drag and drop this in, move that and set that right below. And we are going to go ahead and scale it like so. So add in the dates. Now the fonts that I'm using is the Gothic centric and we are going to just click on the month and change the color to a honey mustard. Now we are going to make a copy of our date and I am going to go ahead and type in the name of the pastor. So I'm going to double click on my subject, go under my image adjustment and brightness. Now we want to increase our contrast for our subject so that our subject blends in with our background. So the next thing we are going to do is click on 
our top layer go under your adjustment add a color look up so go to your property and then you want to click on the fuji enter now and once we have that we are going to pick up our brush tool and with our foreground as black make sure you're on the thumbnail of that um, layer and then we want to brush off the effects of our subject so our subject still pops click on our adjustment and add in a gradient now we are going to click on the color change this and we are going to choose a red like so and I'm going to go ahead to click OK and we want to make sure that the very end one we make that black go ahead and click OK and we are going to change the angle of this and set it somewhere like so go ahead and click OK to come out of it now click on your thumbnail of that layer and we are going to go ahead and erase some portions so that we keep the effect on other areas select your layer move that layer below so that your font is on top of it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you all back bye y'all